up here, we've got um, one of the most important uh, buttons, and that's the save button. What you want to do is you want to save often because you never know what's going to happen. Your computer could crash, uh, the power could go out, who knows. So you always want to save because you could spend an hour working on uh, your spreadsheet and boom, it just all disappears. You never know. Somebody could walk by, trip over your cord, who knows. All right, so anyway, that's an important one. Um, we've got cutting, we've got copying, we've got pasting. You guys are familiar with these buttons because if you've done anything with Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, all of the Microsoft uh, applications are very, very similar. All right. So anyway, let's start with uh, maybe punching a little bit of information. We will create um, a worksheet here. All right. So let's say in this first column, we will put name. Okay, so I'll put name and maybe I will put a uh, birth date and um, I can put uh, birth city. Okay, so anyway we can go ahead and start filling those in. Now let's say I've got, you know, uh, Johnny Smith and let's say Johnny Smith's birthday was August um, 8th 2000 all right and let's say old Johnny Smith was born in uh, Easton Maryland okay so I've got this information now if you look Wow Everything's kind of jumbled together. They don't quite fit in the blocks. You know, I need to make my columns a little bit wider. And I'd also like to make some distinction between my column headers and the information that's in the column uh, that follows. So one of the things I can do is I want to, I need a little bit more space because Johnny Smith doesn't quite fit in that block. So look, I'm going to go right here right here between the A and the B. If I put my cursor on that line, right there between the A and the B, and I click and drag, I can make that column as big or as small as I want to. Now, obviously, I made it very big uh, to make a point, but, you know, hey, I'll put it back, and, you know, that's pretty good. The birth date is uh, also, we're going to need it to be a little bit bigger. Um, all right. And it looks like I forgot a digit, so we'll put a digit in there. Okay, and oh, oh, look what happened. The format of my birth date just changed, so we'll come back to that. Um, now, here, same thing with the city. We'll make it a little bit wider. Now, uh, some people might be satisfied with the way this looks, but... Me, I like to have things nice and clean, uh, orderly. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to work on the headers. So I want my headers centered. And I want them to stand out from the rest of the information. So let me click on one. I highlight the whole row. That means everything in this row, every cell in this row, is going to have the same characteristics. First of all, I want it to stand out from the information I put below them. So let's come up to, to this area right here. This area right here is all about formatting the fonts and the colors of the information that's put in my cells. So right now, let's go ahead and make it maybe 14. So now it's a little bit bigger. All right. Let's go ahead and make it bold so it stands out a little bit. And I'm a big advocate for centering. So if you look right here, I can align things left, which they're already aligned left, except for my date. I wonder why that is. And uh, I can do them centering. So if I press this button right here, and if you hold the cursor right on there, it tells you what it is. Center the text. Boom. So now everything in that row that I highlighted is centered. All right? Easy. 